that's it guys this whole week i don't know what it is i put it in my head i'm like yeah <laughs> you're a creator now girl you're a content creator you gotta eat you gotta you gotta eat this thing up no crumbs are meant to be left behind <laughs> watched back the recent video i just dropped and the video before that and i'm like wow yeah there's so many things i can like improve like my speech like even editing i feel like i added way too much stuff like but i feel like that's all part of growing i don't know i'm like really trying to take this thing seriously though i listen guys so you guys don't really know but i was working for a company a couple months ago and i decided to leave the company because we were just going in separate directions honestly i was kind of unhappy there and i really just i knew i wanted to leave and like pursue these things that i'm passionate about one of those things was starting my own branding agency which i've been going at for like six months now like this whole content creation thing has been something i've really been wanting to do i really just want to do better with my uh, social media content too um i don't know i just i really want to do it and not because of like the opportunities that come with it and the benefits like obviously those are cool who doesn't want that but like i just want to i just don't want to work i consider this work like guys it's literally like what time is it it's 1 p.m it's like 1 30 p.m on a friday yes i have work to do um and for the most part i'm organized and i have like okay like i i did some work for today and i know really monday i really need to lock in which is fine but i'm like this is work to me i don't care that i'm not getting paid or anything like i don't know i just want to i just really want to put in the time and the effort for you guys um honestly though i've literally this week has been a weird week for the past couple of days, I honestly have not been able to sleep. I don't know, I've been stressed. There's been a lot going on in my noggin. I'm thankful that I have the Lord. Literally, I have God. A lot of people don't have God. A lot of people, you know, they smoke or they go out to party or... I don't know, they find other ways to cope and to distract themselves. And I'm glad that I've gotten to a point where I'm like, no, like... I'm overwhelmed, I'm overstimulated, I'm stressed, I'm not feeling like myself. Let me like relax and meditate with God and like pray it out and like read some scriptures. So, so thankful for that. You should try it. You should try it. Now that I'm looking at myself, I'm like, damn, I could have like at least made myself like a little bit better, but it's fine. We're being real on here. We're being real this weekend. Um, I'm actually going to the fair with the young adults at my church and then tomorrow i have a full content day oh my gosh i'm going crazy i have a full content day at church as well if you didn't know i'm actually the ministry leader for the young adults at my church a lot of people don't know that I'm the leader i come up with all the events i host the events yeah tonight we were actually supposed to go to rock the universe at universal um orlando but I feel like right now, everybody's in between blessings. Like, the economy right now is tripping, girl. Like, what is going on? And why did I go to Wendy's the other day and get a hamburger? It's just a burger. I didn't get the meal. And it was $7. I think it was like the Asiago chicken, whatever. Girl, it was $7. I think it used to be like $4. What? I've been trying to go to Universal for like five years now and it never works out but it's fine it's fine we're not gonna talk about it we're not gonna talk about it but tonight we're going to the fair oh let me tell you guys this let me tell you guys this i cannot see yeah uh my contacts ripped in half and literally three days before it ripped in half i literally called and i was like hey like i need new contacts can i place an order they usually take like three days to get there cool or sometimes they even have it in stock tell me why they call me back the day before my contacts were going to happen was like, Hey, sorry. Um, yeah, we're back ordered. It's going to take five to six months. Who the hell is waiting five to six months? They're like, Hey, you can come pick up your prescription. You can order it online. I'm like, okay, I guess. 
and even the ordering process was like so od all i know is that i can't see my glasses i had lost them yesterday but i found them girl these are the wrong prescription these are like from three years ago they got scratches all over them my dog ate the end of this so i've been using them but i've been feeling like i've been in a different world because those are not the right prescription anyways i'm over here yapping 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 i just got a ride so she's gonna pick me up in an hour um which is fine with me because we have to drive there and traffic and all that stuff you know because it's the fair and i think the fair leaves tomorrow so it's gonna be a little crazy today first things first we're gonna see what the weather is looking like and we gotta find an outfit and then we gotta get looking right. Um, I'm not even gonna shower because I just have a feeling that I'm gonna be walking around and sweating, especially depending what I'm wearing. And do I wanna shower? You know what, I'm gonna shower. I'm just gonna quick rinse off. Kinda wanna do just like a baggy, a baggy look. I know for a fact my hair is being slipped back tonight. I try not to do it too much because of my edges. My edges are screaming for mercy. Let's get ready. Let's get ready, girls. There's something weird about my makeup, but I don't know what it is. All right, so boom. He got dressed. He looked good. The hair is laid. We got the rolling on the watch. And... We got some dunks on. All right, hold up. I'm gonna show you guys this bit because honestly, I'm not really that confident in it. I had some other pants on, and I think there was something off about it. But I feel like these pants work better. So hold up. All right, so here's the fit. These pants, like, they're so cute, but they always trip me out because they look like they're backwards, but they're not. Oh, they are. Um, is it hitting though? Like, I don't know. We got the purples going on. Like, the shades of purple. Honestly, the eyeshadow was a mistake. You know, when you like mean to do something lightly? Yeah, I went full blend mode by accident. So, here we are. <laughs> I got these chunk of earrings on. It's giving. The only thing that's not giving is the fact that I can't see, but it is what it is. To the way. All right, y'all, we just got here. We just got here, and I had to put my glasses on because I cannot see for anything. Y'all, y'all are parked. I feel like it looks fine, though. Parking. tonight was fun it ended up only being like a couple of us i made it home i'm alive i am protected i am blessed and i'm so grateful for that um tomorrow morning i'm supposed to be going to church to help really would love to stay home and kind of just spend time with god i'm not gonna lie but i know that if i go reward me and it's like if okay if i stay home or if i'm able to stay home i can't just say oh i would love to spend time with god and i don't ever spend time with god so i gotta hold myself accountable i kind of gotta push through because he is my lord and my savior and he is worth it so yeah i made it to church this morning and i got ready super quick throw on an outfit because literally 
I like, just needed it to get here. Well, the ladies are having a vision board party, but I already made my vision board. So I'm here to help with content for the day. I brought my cute little pink mic. I'm gonna be interviewing the ladies. I wore pink in honor of like the occasion. The lighting is horrible in here, so sorry for that. I just got here, I just set everything up. I'm gonna show you the media booth. And yeah. All right, so here is our media booth. I got some music playing. This is our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sanctuary. And yeah, I really do want to show you guys like really my life, the truth behind what I do and all that stuff. I'd be scared that you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, like what you do is so lame. Like nobody wants to see that. The devil is a liar. This is what I'm here for. This is what my platform is for. I am back and I hope that you can hear me because if you can't that would suck and I feel like I should probably check before I go any further okay I checked we're good um hi I'm back and I'm outside and it's <sighs> it's been two weeks since I filmed and you wouldn't know that because you just wouldn't know that um YouTube is not easy, and content creation is not easy. Oh! <gasps> it's windy outside, it's windy. You know when you just don't necessarily, like, want to dress up and look nice, and you're just, like, locked in on stress? <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's so true. I feel like I've been in that space. I was, like consumed by just some stuff i'm just stressing out about right now which you guys will see in a couple weeks but girl i've been stressing and financially it's it's been a big financial issue like that's the whole reason i've been struggling but it comes to a point where you need to just like you need to pull yourself out of situations and you need to like genuinely be like okay what am I going to do to get myself out of this situation? I need to come up with a strategy. And that's not just financially speaking. That means with various things, I feel like. If you're depressed or if you're just going through a lot, I just feel like you have to know at some point, like, I don't like how I feel right now. I don't like the way I'm operating, the way I'm treating people, or the way that this is making me feel. And I feel like you need to do something about it. Like, don't just sit there and dwell in it, even though I did it for two weeks. Um, you need to come to a point where you need to do something. Anyways, I'm outside right now because, honestly, I wanted to watch the sunset. And the sunsets here are Gorgina. Gorgina. So here I am. But yeah, this was such a weird video, I feel like. I... I went to the fair, I spent money that I feel like I shouldn't have spent. Oh, I I, sh I know I should not have spent it, and I spent it. Everything else from there is history, honestly. But I don't want to let those moments, like, defer me from genuinely, like, doing what I know that I want to do and that I'm passionate about and, like, creating even though it's hard, like, there's moments where, like, I can post on TikTok and just, like, have these ideas flow. And even at that, like, I'll post, like, four or five posts consecutively and then I'll just, like, stop and then get back on it. Like, genuinely, if you post every week, congratulations. Like, if you, if you are consistent, I want to be like you when I grow up because what? My last video got, like, I think, like, 400 views, which is insane. I ha I did promote it on TikTok, 
I posted it. And I got like 600 likes. But after I had gotten all the likes, I realized that I could link my YouTube to TikTok. And I didn't know that. So I feel like all those people didn't really get to watch it. But still, I still got 400 views, which is insane. I don't know where that came from. I definitely want you guys, like, if you guys have been watching me, please subscribe. Because I genuinely just want to, like, build a community of people who watch my videos. I don't know. Like, I feel like, period. It's This is so cool. I just want to be online besties. Anyways, for some good news... I got my first PR package. <laughs> my hair is growing back. I got my first PR package. I literally like didn't think it was real. Surely enough, I went through all the steps. I like they're like, yeah, choose like three things. I ended up choosing two because I didn't know. Like they said I had like $50 worth of stuff. And I was like, I don't know how much this stuff cost. And so, um, I'm just going to pick two to be safe because I'm not trying to go over budget and then now I got to pay out of pocket and I'm already struggling financially. <laughs> Gosh, I'm oversharing. Anyways, so, um, but surely enough, and it came so fast and I'm so like, wow, I can't believe I just, that happened. That's so cool. I'm actually wearing it right now and honestly, I understand the world of PR like I know a lot of the time it's just like they're selling you things but genuinely this is so cute like it's it's like this little dainty uh, necklace and then I got like a tennis bracelet because I thought it was so cute and now I have to like make content on it and I was like wow I kind of I'm forced to get out of this f creative funk I'm in because I need to deliver and I'm going to deliver, so period. And then I got another one. <laughs> I got another one. I haven't tested it out yet because I want to be like genuine and authentic. But I'm actually excited to try it. It's like a collagen slash retinol. I think it has both of them in it. Like moisturizer cream. Moisturizing cream, yeah. I'm trying to update you on what my life's been. My mom just had surgery. Uh, she had thyroid surgery, and she removed her right thyroid. I was at her house for, like, two days um, straight consecutively, helping her. I showered my mother. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's just been, like, a weird couple weeks. And then I have, like, this major life-changing event happening in two weeks that I am super excited for. It's just the everything surrounding it is overwhelming and my roommate is coming and they're about to park and yada yada yada. Let's put that back. Life changing event, right? I'm excited. I am excited for what God has in store. Um, just leading up to it and I'll be able to talk about it more and I'm excited to talk about it. But I can't yet. But leading up to it has been so stressful, especially because it's happening so fast. But it's what God wanted and I don't question him. And I know people are going to be like, what the freak? Whatever. Mind your business. I'm excited. And but throughout these weeks, the number one thing that has been the most important is giving everything to God, bro. Like, I can literally not stress this enough. There has been days where, like, I am so, oh, hell no. I think there is, <gasps> oh my gosh. I think there is, like, this animal in the trash can, and I hope it doesn't come for me, but. Yeah, spending time with God has been the most important, essential thing. There has been days where I was just, like, I am so drained. I don't even think I can function right now properly. Like, I'm not even eating and like, uh, like, uh, and I'm being like a B-I-T-C-H. Yeah, I said it. And it's like, all of that just stems from not allowing myself to like meditate on the Lord. 
and like spend time with him and like reflect and just like even internally digest like what I'm feeling what I'm going through and even from a financial aspect like trusting that God is in control of it all it's a lot I feel like I've said this before but I'm gonna say it again just in case if I haven't walking with God is not easy like i don't know who told y'all i don't know why y'all think like oh like she's a christian like she's holier than thou and life is just rainbows and butterflies and dandelions like no like girl i feel like i struggled more in christ than i ever did separated from him and like going out to parties and all of this stuff like yeah while i was still like extremely had moments where like i just felt anxious and overwhelmed and like of course there everybody has those moments but when you're with christ baby i can't even tell you like it is od it is od and people might ask like okay well why are you still a christian like okay if it's harder like why are you still doing it well because it's worth it it's worth it because i know that god is in control of my life while yes this is like i'm going through all these things but because of the word that he has set over my life and because of the promises he gave me i know that it's temporary and yes, even if you're not in Christ right now, what you're going through is temporary. Yes, but I know that God is on my side and God is for me. Who can be against me type of situation? Like there is just an incredible amount of security and peace knowing that I have a relationship with the creation of all things. And also, um, a lot of it is spiritual warfare, but I'm not going to get into that because a lot of y'all just are not there yet. And that's okay. It's spiritual meat. And, but I could get into it and maybe one day I will, but we're taking baby steps. I do want to close out this video with saying I'm grateful for being like given was it necessary. I definitely want to just say thank you like if you've watched my video if you've been watching my videos if you're new whatever thank you for the opportunity thank you for giving me the opportunity to sit here and um, just be passionate about what i like to do and just create even if nobody is watching me like so be it i am on a mission i am on an assignment and i will stop at nothing so yeah um I love you guys, and uh, I pray that you guys have an amazing week. Subscribe and like this video, comment, interact with me, follow me on social media. And yes, um, God is good. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Give your life to him. It's so worth it. You will not regret it. It's going to be hard, yes, but you got this, girl. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, love you girls. Peace out.